morning, everybody. <laughs> it's Cleta and Maureen. We're back. <laughs> we, we decided to do it again. And so Maureen was so kind. I wanted to show y'all some of the beauty consultants. They said, where y'all get those looks? So this is it right here. And I believe you can just find them. Could they still buy these, Maureen? It's a great question. Oh, on the FedEx thing? Oh, yeah, on the FedEx thing. And then you can get it bound. Oh, I got you. Okay, so, which is a lot easier, so then they don't do this. Mm -hmm. So, you go to FedEx under Mary Kay, and you can find these. But anyway, you might be one of our beautiful customers. So, we decided to do this look. It's called Soft Metals, and it's kind of a fallish look, but we liked it, so we're doing it. <laughs> and so, we're going to... Um, I've already prepared my face. I'll tell you what I did to mine, and then Maureen can tell you what she did to hers. I washed it with the foaming cleanser right here. Okay, and then I put three serums on. If one is good, three is better. So I put the tone correcting serum, the pore minimizer, and the lifting serum, okay? Then I thought that's not enough. So I did the deep wrinkle filler. And then I did, <laughs> It doesn't take as long as it sounds. I did this volume firm day cream right here. Okay. And then I did the uh, volume firm eye renewal cream. I didn't do the puffy reducer today. Um, but, and then I did the foundation primer. So that's what I've got on. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and be putting on uh, the Mary Kay CC cream. And this is in medium to deep is what I'm using today. So Maureen, you can go, I'll be doing that. Maureen, you tell them what all you did to get to this point. Yeah, sure. Yes. And yes, serums are good. They are very good. They are our friends. I use the same skincare line as Cleta does. So yeah. I use my repairing foaming cleanser from the TimeWise repair line. I love it. It's super cashmere feeling and it just feels so good it doesn't feel drying or anything like that and then what did I put on next then I did my boosters I did my um the line reducer boosters I can't remember the full name but it's the line reducer booster from the clinical solutions um line and then I went ahead with my advanced lifting uh, serum and then I did my deep wrinkle filler which I love and then I did my day cream uh, the with the SPF 30 in it from the TimeWise repair line and then I went ahead with my um, uh, eye cream my eye renewal eye cream and I love that eye cream because it's got the little tip on it that cools down the under eye area so it takes care of some puffiness and then I went ahead and got my uh, face primer on my foundation primer with SPF 15 and I put on one layer of the CC cream I use it in the very light <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on another little layer there and then I'm going to finish up with a little concealer and do you use this foundation brush I do actually I use this one I, I kind of because we're because we can get our stuff at a consultant's price, I use both, but I will, I will um, reach for this one. I will reach well, for the same one. Exactly. And the other day I used, hang on, I'll pull it out for you. This one. Yes. And this is a foundation brush. And it just, the difference is like you can put it on there and it's more um, because the bristles are so tiny. It almost feels like a sponge. Yeah. It gives you, a little bit more makeup on there and so to me it gives you a little bit more coverage if that's what you want um yeah. just according to what you want to do i've sold both of them to my customers so i'm started with one and i'm gonna end with the other <laughs> exactly you can, also use, you can also use this this is a blending sponge and you can do you wet it like you know, 10 to 13 times and squeeze it out, wet it, squeeze it out, and then take a pa paper towel and dry it. And then you can pat it on with this as well. And a lot of people really like that look as well. So it's kind of just what you like. And I say, get them all and try them yeah. you know, and see. My one daughter gave me a little tip on those sponges when they first came out. Yeah. She said, you know, you don't have a good sponge if the foundation goes through the sponge, like it's right. not supposed to. So she asked me, of course, ahead of time, but she said, can I cut this one in half? I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you mean cut it in half? <laughs> so anyway, she used it for about whatever, several days. 
and then she cut it in half and it did not it, it was only on the surface edges of the sponge so it didn't go even with all the water and all the stuff it didn't go all the way through so she said that's a very that's a sign of a very good sponge so we would love for you to comment with your name yes and your consultant just put like melanie consultant or you could put um you know tabitha cletus guest <laughs> yes. or you could put you know mary beth maureen's customer and we would just like to know who is who's watching. So it's because we got yeah. several. Um, but whoever you are, you might be watching live or you might be watching another day. So we are just going through and going to do it together. We have not practiced this look. We just do it to have fun and show y'all some colors and and us too some colors that we haven't used before. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we want our hair to look as great as possible. <laughs> Honestly, but it's such a pain to try and put makeup on when the it's hair is always pain. falling. It's a pain, but yeah. I sure look better with bangs, but we're just going to do it. And it's so beautiful. Cute. Here we go. Okay, so once we have our foundation on, as you can see, I have light to medium. She has very light. There's one in between. It's called, um, I'm sorry, there's very I'm light. Very light. In between us is light to medium. And then what I've got is the medium to deep. Okay. So now we're going to use our concealers and I'm going to start with the under eye corrector and I'm just going to take some on here. Maureen, do you use the under eye corrector? I do sometimes, but I'm not going to today. Today I've got my, I think I've got my uh, light ivory, you know, it's for us Caspery girls. So right. I just like to use this one. And I will be using a concealer brush, just like Cletus got. Right. This is a cream brush. And you can use it for concealers or for the liquid eyeshadows that we have. True. It blends so nice. Sometimes when you use your finger, your finger's nice too. But a lot of times your fingers, you get the, the concealer more on your finger than on your face. You know? Right. And yeah. so... It's almost like you put it on and then you wipe it off. So I think the brushes just help it stay on better. And I just, I pat it instead of just, you know, grub mm -hmm. it really hard. Yeah. And if to me, this is one of the biggest things I think that helps you look younger is to get rid of those dark circles under your eyes, if you have any, you know. And so, yeah. um, hey, Becky, consultant from Noblesville. Awesome. And, uh. Diamonic read. Diamonic? This is not demonic. That would be bad. <laughs> um, she's not a customer. She likes to watch it. She's a, oh, she's a beauty consultant in Houston, Texas. Oh, Dominique. Hey, Dominique. Thank you, Dominique. That makes <laughs> me feel better. <laughs> I love the name Dominique. Um, okay, and so now I'm going to use, I have two other concealers. This one is called Deep Ivory and the other is Light Beige. And so... Ooh. What I'm going to do with the deep ivory is the light, it's a lighter one. And y'all see this little cute, I'm sure it's a wisdom wrinkle because, you know, yeah. that's what it is when I'm thinking. So yes, I'm take, even though I put a little deep wrinkle filler, it did fill it some, but it's still there. So what I do is I just dot it right here. And then I'm going to dot some just right up here on these. And I'll just show you what, what they do. You can just oh. take your, the same found the concealer brush and just real lightly. I just put them in there because anywhere that there's a wrinkle, it's a fold and it makes it darker looking. And this just kind of helps conceal it. And I'll, just, I'll show you what I mean. And I'm not going to blend it all the way in because I'm just going to let it dry like that. And then when I put my translucent powder, you'll say, what line in the middle of your forehead? You don't have it anymore. So it just helps a little bit. It's That's all nice. Illusion. I'm going to have to try that. It's all an illusion. <laughs> okay, and then I use the one that is the light beige. And I do the same thing, but I just use it right here. And you could also use it to conceal, like if you have a blemish or something like that. Mm -hmm. I got a little scar right here. I don't even know where that's from. And then you just look and see, is there any other scar or like, you know, discoloration? And so, hmm. Today, that's all I got. So I'm just going to take it and just blend that in. That's cool. I never did that before, Cleta. Well, see, Maureen, this is things you learn. Learn something new every day. 
<laughs> That's right. Okay. I have a little mirror right here too, in case you think, why does she keep looking over there? <laughs> These concealers though are so great. The spice applicator and they're they're denser than the foundations that we use. So they yeah. go on and they really they stay on and they're not cakey. They don't cake yeah. up and they're just really nice. They're smooth. They're just I love them. And I was never a big concealer chick either, but I love our concealers. Me too. Me too. And so hey Martha, Jennifer from Ohio. Good to see you guys. Okay, so as if you're just tuning in, we're doing this soft metals look. And this is by Louis Costco. He's one of our Mary Kay international makeup artists. And he wrote a book called Beauty Unfiltered. I'm sure you can find it. It's sold, uh, you know, in all the bookstores. You can probably look it up. And uh, this is the this is what we're both going to look like when we're done. Yes, that is exactly, exactly right. Exactly. 100%. 100%. 100%. <laughs> and so it has some instructions on here and we um, have already put in the description of this video, all the colors for y'all. So we're going to go just step by step on what this says. Okay. And so first, first of all, it says, we're going to start with the eyes. And this, by the way, the description says by using just the right amount of combination of glimmer and matte around the eyes, this look, look creates a fun, I don't even know. Where are you at in this book? This next word, the very top thing on there. Trump oh. play like optical illusion. So anyway. Yeah, he's like from another country. So <laughs> yeah, speak a foreign language here. Okay. <laughs> see right here. <laughs> oh man. Hey Carmen. Nice to see you guys. Jennifer. All right. So okay, it says eyes. Beginning by applying an eye primer to the lids. Have you done that yet? Nope. Okay, me neither. So, Maureen, why do we yes. need to use, why do we need to use eye primer? Oh, okay. So first of all, it's a fantastic product. Maybe that's upside down, but the eye primer is going to act like a Velcro for our eye shadow, and it's super simple to put on. It's going to help stop creasing and all that stuff, and it's just going to hold on our eye shadow. And you need like such a small amount. I have used too much in the past. Because as Mary Kay girls, we tend to use more because we can at that amazing discount we get. But uh, more is not better on this thing because <laughs> it just isn't. But it's wonderful product. Your eyeshadow will not move all day long. And if you have kind of dark eyelids, it does brighten them a little bit, don't you think? Oh. So. I got to hang around with you all the time. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so <laughs> once we get our eye primer on, it says lightly tap a silver shadow onto the lid so that the color is barely, barely visible when your eyes are open. So when then we go back to our little, what color is a good one to use for that? And um, that he's recommending a color called Smoky Quartz. Smoky quartz. So in our Mary Kay lineup, it's right here where that finger is. All right. And we're going to use just, I'm going to use just the all over eyeshadow brush. Is that what you're using? Yeah. This little brush right here. And yes. so we're just going to take some in it. And Maureen and I are just going to tap it on right here, just on the lid. Like not go up real high with that one. Interesting. Right? I love this one because it's a little shimmery. Yeah, me too. I love smoky quartz. I sell a lot of it. I believe it's on the blue eye look card. Oh. And so I sell, I guess because I have blue eyes, I sell it a lot. And isn't it funny how we tend to sell what we use? Uh, yeah, it really is. I love that. Okay, so that's that's it. Step number one. That's easy. easy. That's easy. Okay. What are we, what are we doing next? Let me see what it says. Next. It says, um, repeat for impact. Or <laughs> have mercy. Take <laughs> some more. Alrighty. Here we go. Yep, and we're going to impact. We're going to just put some more. <laughs> <laughs> you too can be a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. That's right. Repeat for impact. 
Okay. And you know what? I do see the yeah. second coat is, it did make a difference. Yeah. It did make an impact. Okay. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. Next. Okay, then using a silver black eyeliner to find the base of the lashes all around the eyes. So that is, we're going to use the MK Steely eyeliner today. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to use it, we're just going to line our eyes all the way around. All right. All the way around. Yep. I love our eyeliner. It is creamy enough to go on smoothly but whatever is in the ingredients is amazing enough to stay on all day true and the steely it's not as dramatic as black so it's nice and softer i like the steely too and even though i've got my finger right there I'm not really pulling it too hard. I just, for some reason, when you get a little older, your eyes do tend to, so I just kind of hold it there. No, no, I hear what you're saying completely. Because I know you're not supposed to hold, stretch your eyes out. I remember the days way before Mary Kay, I used another brand and I lit the eyeliner with a lighter. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> And then well, I went ahead and put this hot thing inside my eye. I mean, that's what we did in the 80s. Well, it is at least your own lick instead of somebody else's, right? Oh, my word. That's funny. No need for that here. No. Okay, so we're doing all over, right? Under and everything? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and read what it says next. Okay. Okay, soften with a smudger brush so the liner blends into the eyeshadow and there are no visible lines. So we're going to get our Mary Kay. This is the smudger brush. And we're just going to take it and soften it. Just on the lid, right? Well, I don't know. I'm going to just do it all over, I guess. Okay. What, is, what does it say? I see. What is it's Lewis? soften with a brush so the liner blends into the eyeshadow. There's no, yeah, so I guess just on the top. Okay. Smudge your brush. There it is. That's something I normally would not do. Yeah, me either. That's okay. We're learning. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Carmen, this book is not just for... Oh, good. Say little linen. Hey, little linen. Um, the book is not just for Mary Kay directors. Anybody can order the book. Consultants can order it. Yeah, I mean, it's a great tool. And it's not just, it's got looks, but it's got all kind of other tips about makeup and everything in here. It's so good. Really, really good. Okay, next it says, using a crease brush to find the area right at the orbital bone with a matte taupe brown eyeshadow. Okay, using a crease brush to find the eye area right at the orbital bone with a matte taupe brown eyeshadow and so the color he's recommended in the mary Kay colors the book is kind of generic and it'll just say taupe brown whatever but then the, this workbook tells you what colors of mary Kay you can use okay so it's talking about um well the next one is granite but that's not taupey is it? All right, no, all right, let's read the rest of it so we know okay so i'm okay. thinking that cinnabar it says yeah, right. added 3d impact use the tip of a smudger brush to apply a dot of light pearl eyeshadow to the inner corners of the eye mm. that would be the crystalline yeah okay and and then it says uh and right above the irises blend into the silk blend into the silver shade to create a full look well, then you don't even talk about the silver shade. Maybe the silver was supposed to be our granite. Girl, we don't even know what we're doing here. Let me no, look, at the... look at her. Look at her picture. Because look at her picture over here. That is definitely yeah. smoky quartz. Yeah. That's true. We're good. We're good. Where are we going to put the granite? That is what I'm saying. Well, let's do the cinnabar okay. or this one right here on our in our crease is what we're going to do. And the orbital bone, that's your orbital bone. Thank okay. you for telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> Think about a skeleton and you just see a skeleton in the eyes that, you know, the big old hole. Ooh, That's yeah, the yeah. hole right there. Okay. okay so we're going to use our um, 
crease brush, which is this one right here. It's angled. Okay, and we're gonna put and this is this is cinnabar right here. Okay, the one with the end of the thing. This one, that light brown right there. I mean that brown, medium brown. And it is Cream. yeah. So we're gonna put this right on the orbital bone. So just basically in your crease, but it's according to how your eyes are shaped, you know. So you may have to go a little higher than your orbital bone if your eyes are real hooded so that you can see the thing. Can y'all see how that did? We're just doing the crease, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I always start out with just a little bit of that color and then you can always add more, you know? Yeah, yeah, it is a, uh, it's a really good color. And it's matte finish, so it has a beautiful finish, but it is very pigmented. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have that primer on, it, it, you know, holds it like Velcro. Yeah, it does. Holds it like Velcro. Okay. Uh -huh. I like it. Yeah. It's, I would have never put these colors together. No, me neither. Wow. And I love Cinnabar. Huh. Okay. Here we go. All right. You can order the book. Just go to maybe even Amazon. It's in the bookstores. It's got an ISBN number. Um, so just you can look at it by that. Hashtag beauty unfiltered. By you know what? Afterwards, I'll take a picture and put it in the comments. That's great. That's a yeah. great idea. Okay. So after we've done that, orbital bone. Um, for added 3D. Okay, for added 3D, use the tip of a smudger brush to apply a dot of light pearl eyeshadow to the inner corners of the eye and right above the irises. Blend blend into the silver shade to create a full look. Well, we're just going to go ahead and do that with the crystalline. Yeah, so Make sure you brush that off. <laughs> oh, yeah, good idea because that had that brush. That had the, yeah. Black stuff on there. Okay, so this is the crystalline right here. Yeah. It's just like a white shimmery. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it in the corners, which I like to use the crystalline in the corners every day anyway. Yeah, me too. Gets rid of those shadows. Yeah, it does. If you wear glasses, it's especially important. You tend to get dark. Yes. And I can tell you right now, because doing some of these videos is hard because I have to on with the glasses, off with the glasses. Right, right. And then we're going to put a little bit of this right in the, um, it says right above, mm -hmm. right above the irises. So the iris, of course, is the color in your eye. So we're just going to put it right, basically right in the center. A little bit. Are you doing that on the crease or no. on the base? The lid. Okay, lid. Ooh. That just woke it up. I think we may be rock stars after this. Hey. <laughs> okay. Then it says, um, blend into the silver shade to create a full look. Create a visible contrast between the matte and the shimmer textures. Then blend upward until the crease shade disappears under the eyebrows. Wow. I don't know about that, but. Yeah. We're going to do it. And then, but I think we, what we need to do is come back since we didn't use that granite. I have an idea. All, All right. right. So the cinnabar, they want us just to blend it up. Yeah. Blend it up. Oh, I guess the blending brush would have been a better choice for that. How about that? Yeah. Blending brush. Love the blending brush. The longer bristles mm -hmm. makes the blending so much easier. Because I used to blend with other our other brushes and before we got yeah. this brush and lord cleta i blend away all my eye makeup it's so good yeah this is amazing okay hey interesting, huh? yeah okay all right so now um it talks about the eyebrows but let's do this let's take a little bit of um on this this uh smudger brush yeah Let's take a little bit of the granite, which is because we're going to put that out there. This is, I, and I love granite. This is the granite. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. Yep. So we're going to take a little bit of this. Why don't we take a little bit of this and put it on the outside corners of our eyes okay. up into the crease a little bit. Up into the crease. So kind of be a, um, just for a little bit of something in there. Yeah. And then we can blend it. Okay. Maybe not up too far in the crease, but. Yeah, not too far we in the crease. Use yeah, we have to How use, to it. use it. I like it. I like granite too. And I like the way this is coming on there. Yeah, I think it looks good. Uh huh. So I'm just going to take this one I had the cinnabar on and kind of go over that a little bit. Because you don't want it too much in that crease or it starts looking. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I think I'm just put a little bit more cinnabar. Everybody's got to do what they got to do, right? So that's right. Hmm. Yeah, huh, it's right. So now we're going <laughs> to blend this again. <laughs> okay. Did we mess up our look? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think actually, I feel it's like really it's different than I normally would do. But I know that once we get our mascara on and our brows, we're going to look better. Okay, yes. so what it says next, it says, um, apply a couple of coats of mascara um, to the top and bottom lashes. So, and we're, we're going to do our eyebrows. And so yep. mine's longer. So one of the things that Maureen and I noticed is that y'all look at this. Okay. So this is my face. So like this, this <laughs> side is like lower and this side is like higher and this side is darker. I got two. I'm not two faced, but no. I'm, almost, no. I'm almost looking at it today. So we'll see what we can do to even out my look here. And I like, you yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I really like this this brush that Mary Kay has to brush your brows up. Yeah. Talk about, say about that trick that another thing I learned from you that somebody told you a long time ago about brushing them up and down and every which way. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell it. Something about you got to brush them all up and then all down and then brush them where you want them to be. And that's how you get the best yeah. eyebrow look. That's right. So if you have a brow like mine, is you just you just have to here so y'all see what I'm doing. Instead of going like I just kind of go just a little bit higher than my real brows. I mean I've got the real brows in there too, but they're kind of thin and lighter anyway. And I think one time I over I over plucked or something, and so they they need to come down a little bit too. Now Ma Maureen has a beautiful arch. You just can't get over that. Her arch is just awesome. And so I'm using the brunette eyebrow pencil. So if you look, this was my lower eye. But see, look at that. Now I got to do the other one. <laughs> I fill in. I get sparse after the arch coming around down. It goes real sparse right here. Yeah. And, but when I give it a little fill in, you can't even tell. No. You can't even tell. I like these precision brow pit liners because they're really thin and you can just do hair like strokes. Mm hmm. Okay. I think we about got it. Mm -hmm. Very good. We evened them up. All right. So now we are going to do our mascara. And today calls for the lash intensity mascara because we're doing for a full glam look. All right. And so it has, it has two different, um, size bristles. There's some that are almost like no bristles. They're really, really, really short. And then they're the long ones. And so what you do is you start with the little, really short ones and you start that at the base and that just gets a lot of product on there. And then you turn it and you got your, your length. So we will both go ahead and put that on. And we both went ahead and curled our lashes a little bit. If you, and I didn't pull that. So I'm using Fanorama today. Oh, okay. She's using Fanorama. <laughs> I'm using the lash intensity and it takes practice. Like to, just now I got it all over my, isn't that beautiful? I got it yeah. all over. It's okay. 
Q-tips are our friend. And it's funny because I actually read something in this book last night, Maureen, and it's uh-huh. talked about put your mascara on first and then go do your eyes, like let it dry, do other, do the rest of your face, and then come back and do your liner and your everything else. And then you don't really. Care. Yep. Which I don't know. I mean, you have to definitely let it dry or you'd make a big fat mess. Yeah. But it's like if you've ever went to um, like redo for like maybe you're going out at night and your your makeup is already done. You can yeah. put more liner on. It's just, you know, kind of nice okay. work. Well, I don't know if I'll do it, but that is your tip for the day that Luis Costco said. Yes. And he's so good. I watch him. He do is good. Something. Yeah. I used to be so intimidated by color and like, I just, you know, I was more of a throw the lip gloss on and out the door I went. And when I watch, you watch one of his videos, all of a sudden you feel a little bit more empowered. He doesn't make it rocket science. Right. Mascara makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh. Like so much difference. Especially on me. So I'm doing two coats. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go do my bottom, which really, we talked about this last week, Maureen. Yeah. You do your bottom lashes first. Then when you look up, you know, to do the bottom, I mean, uh, you won't get mascara all up there, you know. Right, when you, right. But if I learned from, I can't remember who, if you do get it on your skin, just let it dry. And then it'll flake right off with a Q-tip instead of smearing it all over your skin. Right. Well, one thing, if you are going to go ahead and take it off right then is use a dry Q-tip instead of a wet one. Yeah. Because I'm making kind of a mess, so. Sorry. It's always Q-tips are the best. I love mascara. Yeah, and then sometimes you got to go back over and do, you know, kind of clean anything up. Mm-hmm. Mascara definitely makes this look look better for sure. Oh my gosh. And we have such a wardrobe of mascaras. So many yeah, different I, kinds. I love the panorama and I love the lash. I like them all. I actually have them all, you know. Yes. I get I on a roll just, and then I'll use, I'll use one light for weeks and I'm like, oh, let me try it. And then I, I'll think, let me open some new mascara. And you really uh-huh. should chunk your mascara after about two months, two to three oh months. You, you need to trade it out. And you know what I learned is so I get the ladies, maybe, you know, our regular customers come over to do a new look or something and they would say, and that mascara, you know, after a while, it started flaking on me. I'm like, flaking on you? And I pulled up her little profile. I'm like, honey, it's been six months since you got that mascara. So yeah, it's got out. it'll start flaking on you because you yeah. shouldn't have a mascara that long. That's right, girl. Uh-huh. But it's hard to throw stuff away that when you open it, it still has stuff in it. So I understand the, I the struggle. Yes. So once I finish, I usually just take my cream concealer brush and I just go kind of just pat through there again. If any of my concealer has tried to do something ugly in there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Try to act up. Okay. This is pretty. This is a pretty look. I like it. Me too. All right. Let's. Let's move on. All right. Okay. The next thing is we're going to do cheeks. Um, that's funny. Like on this little thing, it don't talk about cheeks, but we, we're not stupid. So we're going to do cheeks. We're going to, do, <laughs> we're going to go back to this one. The wine berry is what we're going yes. to use. Yeah. Which I use that a lot, a lot, a lot. I love it. You probably don't use it as much, right? Because it's a little darker, but it really well, doesn't go on that dark. Yeah. It's really Believe weird. it or not. It's one of my favorites. I love it. So we use our little cheek color brush 
And I like to start at the back. And go to the front. But blending is the key to all of it. And then I do like a little bit on the apples of my cheek too. So I do both. I love blush. Don't you, Maureen? I do. Because I got such a light complexion. It just really like makes me look more alive. Right. And see, this is too much, but it's okay because I'm going to use my um, translucent powder. Yes. Okay? So, but before I do, I'm going to use a little bit of this glazed highlighter. Okay. Right? And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the top of my cheeks up here. And then right up above my brows. And then I'm also going to use just a little bit of the latte. The latte um, contour. Mm -hmm. Just on the outside edges of my face. And then a little bit right through here too. And I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Why not? Why not? Why not? I can, so I will. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do our translucent powder next. And this just sets everything. And then we'll do our lips. So tell them about the brush we use. Oh, oh, if you don't have this all over powder brush, first of all, it makes you feel amazing it feels so good on your skin but it just takes the powder and puts it everywhere it needs to be and it just oh my gosh I don't know it just feels amazing I love it because it feels amazing I don't know if there's any kind of magic thing it does but I feel well, like the bristles are super soft and uh, before I used before Mary Kay sold brushes I had other brushes and I thought these brushes are fine and then I would try the Mary Kay brush. I'm like, oh, the other brushes are scratching my face. <laughs> right. This is sometimes, so soft. And sometimes I just take a little extra, like right here on the thing. And then I just put a little bit right here. And any place, even though it is translucent, I just put a little bit right underneath my eyes, the center of my face. Well, isn't this milled like six times more than standard powders? So it won't fall into any kind of creases that we don't want accentuated. That's right. All right. How you doing, girl? It, man, I really like this look. I think Brad's just going to have to take me out for lunch. I know it. Brad and I are going to see... Um, a play this afternoon, Sister Act. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. At our, at our college at Valdosta State University. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the Berry Lip Liner, which that one was not on the thing, but that's what I'm going to use, Maureen, okay. is the Berry Lip Liner. She we doesn't really have a lip liner, but this girl is not 50 in the picture. <laughs> so I need, I need a lip liner. I'm going to apply that lip, that um, lip primer while you're doing that because I didn't grab that liner and I did your trick yeah I'm sure you're gonna share yesterday and it's like the best trick ever it works yeah so I'll show them in a second I love our lip primer so you can color in part of your if you wanted to you know with your liner um, I did bring this. Oopsie. Oh, yeah. Right, right. You can demo that. I don't have that in here. So that's great. So this okay. is our... Yeah, go ahead. Are you going to do that? We should do that, though. Don't you normally do that before you put your eye stuff on? I do it. I do it three times. <laughs> All right. Tell them about it. I'm going to go and put my lipstick on while you tell them about it. Okay. So the makeup finishing spray, it's uh, going to hold your makeup on for like 16 hours. All day long so i usually in the summertime when it's screaming hot outside but for georgia that's probably like all the time right <laughs> not like michigan yeah. so for i will get my uh foundation primer my foundation on and i'll give it a spray 
and then I'll continue on with all my eyes and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll give it a spray again after my cheeks. And then after my translucent powder, I give it a spray again. That was a little Cindy Williams thing. So what yeah. you do is you do an X and then a cross. And then that's it. You can do it once. Yeah, there you go. And then I, I this the color we're using is called Crush Berries. Mm -hmm. And I did it with the berry liner. You would, could do it with no liner, like the picture shows with no liner, which is fine, too. It's a different look. And then I use a little bit of the lip primer on that. I've already put some on my lips. And before I put my foundation on, but I'm going to put this just right here on the edge of my lips, too. And it just keeps it from bleeding or feathering at all. And I love the color. if you don't know what that means, then that's not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> because if you do know what it means, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, that happens to me, you know? And so I love this color. Then we're going to fluff and puff. Mm -hmm. Hair is important. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So this is our look. <laughs> we look so cute. I like yeah. it. What do you think, Maureen? I really do like it. I like it a lot. I like the difference in the colors. Like the cinnabar brings in the warmth. And yep. then the smoky quartz and granite and all that brings in the cool. And I just, I think it's really pretty. I would have never paired these together ever. Yeah, me neither. It really makes your eyes sparkle, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it's gorgeous. Even for summertime, I re I think it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I like really it. Nice. And the granite, the granite, uh, the granite just does something really nice to it, too. It really does. It really does. I feel like I need to just do this just a little bit. Here we go. There we go. Had a little cakiness. Okay, you guys. Gorgeous. So this is, this is called soft metals. All the colors are in the description. You mm -hmm. have to practice on yourself just like we did. And you can put colors together that normally you would not put together, right? Yes. So thank y'all for watching this morning. We are ready for the day. And, um, Thank you for all your comments, Becky, Jennifer, um, Carmen. Just appreciate you guys. And I'm so glad Sayla was on here for a minute. So thanks, everybody. Contact your beauty consultant to purchase any of these products. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.